That's not bad. So that's yeah. Here's four hundred twelve. Because remember they're solid copper projectiles. Yeah. So like, yeah. Yeah, but like, look what they're rating. Like that's yeah. you know yeah. barely a dent. So that's pretty impressive. Good. Right, I might be wrong. But that's... Oh, whereabouts are we? So uh, give us a minute here, Paul. I've just got to get back on target. Oh, oh just left. <laughs> Fight was good. One more. In. That's not good ammo, though, either. What was it? Right. Oh. <laughs> Just lie left. Just in front. That was low left. I got ya. In line, low. Yep. Oh, oh in sir. line, low. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> little high. Oh, oh. <laughs> just, just off the edge. edge. <laughs> <laughs> you sure as hell scaring the fuck out of it. <laughs> well, Stu's testing his desert tech out, so we're just making sure we've got a rough baseline zero with his he's got some hand loads that were just laying around, so we're just gonna use them. Make sure she's pretty much zeroed, get a quick little verification on the drop data, ready for tomorrow morning's hunt. Less than an inch, you reckon? Yeah. That's pretty good for three shots, 200 metres. So Stu's just got a rough zero at 200 metres. Uh, we've got a gong up at 426 metres, so we're just going to quickly dial up, make sure our velocity estimation's pretty much on point, and then we might quickly stretch it out at six or 700 metres and make sure we're thereabouts and call it a day. We'll be ready for the hunt in the morning. You right? Yep. We are rapidly running out of light, but Stu's just marking off the shots that we've taken at 200. We've just come up to about 50, 60 metres, and he's just going to get his reflex sight roughly sighted in. He's changing the mounts on that soon, but, yeah, he's just getting it roughly sorted. So if he does need to make a finishing shot in the morning, he's got his reflex sight available as well. First light, got a pisser of a morning today, so get in this gully, see if we can find Stuart Deer for this new rifle. Have it ready to shoot. Hey? Have it ready to shoot. Yeah, right. You do look like a bloody Afghan, you know? Chasing me with the bow. So there's a hind with this stag, and we're off the hind because Stu's got the rifle. I don't want that stag being shot with a rifle unless he's a lot bigger, but he's only about a 22 inch model, so 
Cap's making her way down. We're going to try and get on the opposite face, look over to where he is. He's standing out in the open, but we can only see the hind's head, and so we need to get eyes on that hind. And the, the lay of the country here, we just can't get a shot where we are. So uh, drop down, get across, try and get eyes on her. No, he's tiny. I mean, like, yeah. The width makes him look bigger than what he is. Yeah. He's like 22. Neat little head though, but yeah, yeah like super nice and even. In three years, four years, he'll be a freaking giant. If he, unless I arrow him first. <laughs> he's cool though. Yeah, he's obviously just like he's wide. Spread. Yeah, yeah, which is why I reckon he's that one I videoed in velvet. Yeah. Getting our sweat up running up this hill. <laughs> so can't see him on that face over there, so. All I can think of is they've dropped into this gully above us now, so we're just racing up. Gonna try and look in, it's gonna be a close range shot if something happens. Well, we had a bit of close action, then we are walking up that hill, Rem goes on point, Stu could see the deer, but Rem was sort of right in the way, so he didn't want to make a shot. I just had the camera rolling from a bit behind, and yeah, he tried to sneak in for a shot, but they beat us, and we've just come up to where we thought they were going to be, but I reckon they're below us, and the wind's just dropping down, so they'll be gone. <laughs> oh, I can't catch a break this morning. Yeah. The stag was the only one offering a shot and we just didn't want to shoot him, so anyway, we might head back up to the top ridge and have a quick look around, see if there's anything else sunning itself, but yeah, they're going to be heading to bed now, we've already been out for a few hours, so. What just happened then, Steve? No, oh, we're just booting up the hill back of the car, those two that we bumped earlier are obviously sitting in this scrub up here and just watching them walk up the clearing and uh, give it out a honk and then take off, so. And if we'd followed Ram, we would have been right. She, I think she was on point on him, but we just couldn't see Ram. <laughs> there we are. I back in this system. I thought they were going to go down. We'll scoot up and look back down this gully, then we'll look in that next one to the right in case they've run in there. Yeah. You probably wouldn't even quite hit 20, I don't reckon. Well, we're just driving out of the property and pulled up and there's a stag out in the paddock here but there's no hind with him so we'll be leaving him alone uh, yeah we'll go to another property to Sarvo and try and get it done there but yeah the stags are cooperating this morning but not the hinds unfortunately so we'll see how we go to Sarvo.